Hi guys, it's Crypto Rocco with a Litecoin update. Today, Litecoin had some fake news about Litecoin partnering with Walmart. If you've been involved in cryptocurrency, we see fake news every day. But this wasn't just a fake news, guys. This was officially tweeted by Litecoin's official Twitter account that they're partnering with Walmart. They had a major announcement on their official Twitter account. This was uh, tweeted out and covered by the big news media outlets. So a lot of the Litecoin hodlers or people invested in Litecoin and cryptocurrency are saying whether this was a collected uh, pump and dump. In this video, guys, I'll share with you my thoughts on it. I'll share with you what has happened, you know, Litecoin tweeting about it and then, you know, deleting their tweet and lots of other media outlets. I'll share with you my thoughts on the Litecoin project long term. If you've been following Rockstar Trading Channel, guys, Litecoin was one of the first coins I covered back in 2017, 2018. I was involved with the project and, you know, in 2019 with Litecoin, Charlie Lee, you know, selling all his Litecoin, the drama with Litecoin. I've not been involved with this. I still trade it. I traded the Litecoin halving with you guys and it was very profitable. I still think we're going to get a pump with the next Litecoin halving, but you know, this has left a sour taste in my mouth. So I'll share with you my thoughts on Litecoin long term and watch the video till the end. I'll share with you exactly how we're trading Litecoin if you're looking to buy and potentially short it as well. If Litecoin breaks down, you want to head your position like my Cardano short, then you can look to trade Litecoin as well. I'll share with you the exact trade setup at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's get into the news. So Litecoin tweeted that, you know, Charlie Lee. Uh, and Litecoin official Twitter account tweeted that Litecoin is partnering with Walmart and I wasn't at my desk. If I was at my desk, I would, probably would have traded it, tried to short the top. But Litecoin literally pumped within minutes and the chart looks like this. And you can't really trade that chart. It, it literally just pumped and within minutes people started realizing it's fake news and it dumped. So what made it really bad is that Litecoin uh, Twitter account tweeted it and then deleted their tweet. And we don't really want to be seeing that, guys. If it is fake news, why would someone from the Litecoin team tweet about it? And it's not just that. It, it seemed like lots of the other. This is a really good tweet. Litecoin fake news was embarrassing. It was not sources this time. The news was pushed by Globe, uh, Globe Newswire and distributed by all news platforms such as Bloomberg, Reuters, CNBC, and they all added fuel to the fire. So the people, you know, the normal investors like me and yourself are saying that this is a collective pump. So they all knew about it, that they were going to tweet about it and pump it. And they deleted their tweet after 48 minutes. And this doesn't bode well. If you want to, you know, be invested in a trustful company, you don't want to, you don't want to be seen that we've already seen Charlie Lee selling his Litecoin. The drama with Litepay, that's when I started, you know, moving myself away from the project. You don't really want to, you know, if you want to invest in the project or work with the project, you want to see transparent news. We don't really want to see, um, you know, stuff like this happening. And I'm sure they're going to say that they're going to blame one intern or blame one employee that they made a mistake. But we don't really want to see this. You know, you need to bring, you know, this is completely wrong what they're doing because I'm sure lots of newbies saw this news, bought it, and they're down uh, straight away and potentially liquidating their account. So this is something that I don't want to see. And, you know, it's not good for Litecoin long term. So that's my thoughts on this. What is your thoughts? Do you think this is like a pump and dump? Do you think the people in the know-how, the chart is really ugly chart. Do you think it's in the people in the know-how, you know, the whales are manipulating the market to, you know, sell Litecoin higher? What is your thoughts on it? Comment below your thoughts. But in my opinion, this is not news that I like to see. And if I'm invested in a project, I don't really want to be seeing this. You can see Charlie Lee tweeting about it and, you know, other people talking about it. We don't really want to see this. And, you know, they have basically, they're, they're excuse in my opinion is not very good several media outlets including uh, did cover this news first and in Ren's response one of our social media team members was little too eager and shared the story from a Litecoin Twitter uh, Twitter account this was quickly deleted we've taken steps to correct future issues our marketing team has been responding to inquiries and this is indeed false so that's the news. Comment below your thoughts on it. Trading wise, if Litecoin starts breaking below 164, guys, I'm going to look for a short. And, and my tweet was, you know, when in my group, again, in YouTube video, guys, I share with you exactly where I'm looking to trade, my levels to buy and sell like this video. I share live trades like Cardano. I'll make another Cardano video tomorrow. I was going to make all Cardano videos for the, you know, covering the smart contracts news and Alonzo update. I'll make a Cardano video tomorrow. But with this Litecoin drama, I had to make a Litecoin and share with you guys an update on Litecoin.
so my plan was you know when the markets are like this best thing to do is you know even other coins they dump take half off reduce your risk and wait for a clearer market so i'm waiting for bitcoin to settle some of the other coins are pumping you know the coins that we're trading luna one of the newer coins that i got into qnt lots of coins are still recovering really well and those are the coins that you should be getting into not stuck in you know the drama if you are looking to scalp litecoin i'd probably wait a couple of days for this news event to go away and then look to trade it so that will be the first advice and the trade that we're looking for is if it starts breaking below 160 164 i would look to short litecoin and you know my trade setup is it using a pullback strategy so if it starts doing something like this i'm happy with one more spike to 150 but if it, after a spike it starts breaking down that's when i look to short it and watch my cardano video i shared i shared that you know short setup live uh, posted beforehand and after check that out you know i look for something like this when it starts breaking down on the hourly pullback and these pullbacks to short a uh, litecoin below 150 level if litecoin starts breaking above 180 190 i'm wrong on that trade idea i'm, I'm gonna start looking to buy if it spikes like this i don't want to buy that i want to see you know hourly four hourly closes above a pullback i teach a very simple pullback trading strategy make sure you have a strategy whether you want to follow ours there's a one month trial you can use us to see if our strategy live streams telegram group work for you but please make sure you have, have a strategy, whatever um, strategy you have or learn. So what we will look for is a breakout above 190, 180. And if it starts pulling back, I think Litecoin will pump. And long time frame, guys, I don't personally, I want. I need to see a lot more from Litecoin before I start you know, investing in Litecoin. I only invest in a small few coins and mainly in Bitcoin, Ethereum. Uh, but for me to you know, invest and put long term money in Litecoin, I'll trade it. But for me to do that, I need to see a lot more from their team. What's going on with Mimble, Wimble? Are we going to see more adoption for Litecoin? What is the future of Litecoin? I need to see a lot more. But for long time trading, guys, I do think Litecoin will have another pump leading into 2022 halving. I think there's going to be a big pump for it. And I'll look to trade it same as the type in Litecoin halving. I traded Litecoin halving live with you guys and it went up like crazy against BTC and we had a really big pump. I see another big pump in Litecoin. And then what happens, it will depend a lot on the project. If after this pump, Litecoin starts trend changing below you know break this floor against btc i think litecoin will go a lot lower and it could potentially look like the bitcoin cash chart against btc and i don't really want it to it, for it to look like that but if litecoin doesn't start you know trend changing and breaking out above this could potentially let me see if i can share that chart with you. it's a bit tricks chart you know if litecoin starts breaking the floor against btc we could be you know going down against btc and i don't really want to see happen you know the bitcoin cash does pump against like uh, against btc but overall the trend is down i want to be coin i want to be buying and holding coins where the trend is up so uh, for me so overall long term i'm, I'm going to look to trade litecoin pump in litecoin halving i need to see a lot more structure but long term i'm still bullish on other coins than litecoin and you know litecoin was the first coin you know that i, I, in, I traded heavily on youtube and i invested in so it is a bit shame to see where the project is going but i need to see a lot more uh, before i start investing more of my money in litecoin so short time frame trade wise if litecoin is as long as litecoin is holding above 160 there's nothing to be uh, too wary of don't make any knee jerk uh, knee jerk decisions if bitcoin keeps on pumping i think litecoin will break 180 and head towards that 250 300 300 dollar target if litecoin breaks 160 be a bit careful you know we traded litecoin from here this was the pullback trade setup watch the video from 7th of august the video had lots of uh, views and i shared the exact trade setup but for now it really needs to hold above 160 150 trend 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 change below there i look to shortage i'm long quite a few altcoins they're pumping like crazy in ftt soul ftm uh, qnt h but there's so many coins that we're trading again if you are interested uh, check out the group i'll make a video on other coins that we're trading there's some small cap nft gems that we're looking to buy and again they're the small risky coins i don't really want to share they could go to zero or 10x if you are, if you are looking for more risky trades but that's our trade for litecoin you know we're looking to potentially short Litecoin on a break below 160, 150. And I'll use it as a hedge. You know, it's important to be short some coins in case, you know, crypto dumps. If you have some short hedges, you can protect your wealth. Similar to my short ADA trade, I look to take that trade if it does start breaking down. And if it starts breaking above 180, I'm wrong on the trade idea. Buy Litecoin and start pumping Litecoin. And long term, I do see Litecoin halving 
giving us a massive pump, you know, two or three hundred percent pump. We always see that. Then after that, we need to see what happens with the Litecoin project, fundamental news adoption before I want to invest more money in it. So that's the video, guys. I hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, guys, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. If you didn't enjoy it, guys, that's fine. Thank you for watching anyway. And if you want more content like this, I will be doing a free live stream on YouTube this month. So make sure you turn on the notification button if you want more strategies, live streams, telegram group seeing me apply my strategy live check out the group i'll leave the links below before i end the video what is your thoughts on litecoin what do you think about all this drama with fake news and the crazy stuff comment below your thoughts and share with me your thoughts on litecoin long term i really wanted this project to work like i said i've been involved with it uh, previously and i really want it to see work so hopefully the litecoin foundation litecoin charlie lee team can come up with some uh, better updates fundamentally so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much